Hi, this is Ezra from DLC Solutions, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the Ethos CE 2.0 Learning Group landing page. Right now I'm on a landing page for the Cardiology Learning Group. I'm logged in as an admin. On the right side of the page, there are a couple highlighted courses with links to take the course, descriptions, and the number of credits available. If I scroll down, I can see a list of all the courses and I have the ability to tab through them to see more. At the bottom are a couple of blocks of news, discussions, and an RSS feed from external news. All these blocks can be customized for an Ethos CE Enterprise install. On the left side, we have links that everybody can see. Links to courses, discussions, and news, and then links that I can see as an admin create a course, a discussion, or news. And then there's a couple other links to administer this group. and I'll go into those quickly. Each learning group can have a name that's set by the admin, a description, a path, the URL that you type into your browser to get to the group, and then a preset whether it's public or private. A private group, your admin would have to approve members to join and to see the group. A public group anybody can join and see without any permissions. So a private group can be very useful for things like internal discussions, internal courses, anything you don't want the public to see. On the left there's also a tab called Customize Features and each group has a number of features that you can turn on or off. The group's dashboard, which is really the home page, courses, discussions, and news. So you can disable any of those when you're logged as an admin just by turning them off. You can broadcast, that is, email to all the members of the group using this page. Um, you can send a subject and a body of your email, click send, and it's going to go out to everybody who's a member of this group. And finally, you can manage the members of the group. You can add or remove somebody, or you can make them an admin just by clicking on a link.